Hi students, uh, welcome to Computer Exams Material Channel. So, in this tutorial or in this video, I'm going to start Linux commands. Okay, Linux basic commands uh, playlist videos. So, this is the first video, and I'm going to make few more videos on the uh, commands uh, with the help of examples. So, in this video, what I'm trying to explain you is uh, what are commands, what is a shell, okay, what are the different types of commands, what is a shell. And what is a terminal emulator so these are the basic terminology uh, even before uh, learning the commands we need to learn this okay so let's start so what is a command okay first why do we need a command so command is nothing but it's an instruction given to our computer by us to do whatever we want what is a command it's an instruction so a user is giving an instruction to the computer to perform some action or to perform some task okay this is called as an command so in mac os and linux it is called as a terminal in mac os and linux terminal okay commands are executed from terminal or command is also called as a terminal whereas in windows it is called as a command prompt okay the place where we execute the commands in linux and mac os we call it as a terminal whereas in windows we execute the commands from the command prompts so commands are always case sensitive commands are always case sensitive so where do we execute the commands so we execute the commands in linux from terminal from terminal commands are executed by typing in at the command line followed by pressing enter key so where do we execute the commands Commands are executed by typing at the command line followed by pressing the enter key. This command further passes to the shell which reads the command and execute it. So whatever the commands we are passing from the command line, so those will be passed to the shell okay, and then execute it. Shell is nothing but it is a method for the user to interact with the system. So what is a shell? Shell is nothing but it is a method for the user to interact with the sh system. So default shell in Linux is called bash. Default shell in Linux is called bash. Bash, bone again shell. So and coming to the commands, there are two types of commands. One is built-in shell commands. Other one is external Linux commands. So built-in shell commands are nothing but they are part of shell. Each shell has some built-in commands. So each shell will be having few built-in uh, commands. Those are called as shell commands. And coming to the external or Linux commands, each external command is a separate executable program written in C or other programming languages. Each external command is a separate executable program written in C or other programming languages. So those are called external Linux commands. So we have seen what is a command. Okay, we have seen types of commands. We'll little, uh, I mean, we'll dive more deep into the what is a shell. Okay. Shell is nothing but it's a program that takes keyboard commands and passes them to the operating system to carry out certain action or task. Okay, so what is a shell? So whatever the commands we enter from the command line, those will be taken by the shell and it passes to the operating system. Okay, that is called as a shell. So each and every Linux distribution supply a shell program from the GNU project called Bash. So Bash is nothing but it's an acronym for born again shell so coming to the shell this is the shell okay shell is nothing but it's a kind of mediator between the command line and the operating system okay it takes the inputs from the command line and passes it to the operating system to carry out next when using a graphical user interface we need another program called a terminal emulator to interact with the shell suppose we are using any gui editor okay in that case, what we need? We need another program called a terminal emulator to interact with the shell. So this is what types of commands. What are the commands? Types of commands, shell. Now we'll see what is a terminal emulator. Okay. And how the terminal emulator looks like. So whenever we open, okay, any terminal emulator, it will look like this. So if you see this, this is how the terminal emulator looks like okay so i am using okay oracle vm virtual box and i have installed ubuntu in it okay so this is how it looks like uh, after installing ubuntu and i have opened a terminal from 
okay oracle uh, vm virtual box from the ubuntu i have opened a terminal okay i mean this is how the home screen looks let me open how it looks like initially this will look like this okay now what we need to do is just type terminal okay this is the ubuntu and i am opening terminal from here and as soon as i open terminal it will look like this okay it will show a dollar symbol and it will show sandeep at the rate sandeep virtual box so what it means we'll look into in detail okay so terminal emulator so as soon as we open right it looks like this sandeep at the rate sandeep virtual box tail symbol and the dollar sign so this is nothing but it is called as an shell prompt what is it is called shell prompt it will appear whenever the shell is ready to accept input so whenever the shell is ready to accept the commands or accept the input it will display a shell prompt we have seen that shell prompt i will show you once again so while it may vary in appearance somewhat depending on the distribution it will usually include your username at the machine name followed by the current working directory so what is the meaning what is the meaning of this username at the rate machine name okay username at the rate machine name so if you see here this is the username sandeep is the username and uh, this sandeep hyphen virtual box is the machine name and after that dollar symbol will be there okay if any user logs in it will display dollar symbol if a super user okay who has all the privileges or the admin privileges kind of uh, okay privileges it will show hash symbol okay pound symbol so if the last character of the uh, prompt is a pound sign rather than a dollar sign the terminal session has super user privileges so instead of dollar sign if it is shown as hash okay pound sign the session uh, the terminal session has super user privileges okay so this is the first uh, session what is a terminal what is a okay what is a terminal what is a command what is a shell okay what is a terminal emulator from where we execute the commands okay this is our first session okay hope you understand this video in the next videos what we will do is we will directly jump into the commands okay i'll explain you the commands what the command does and i'll give you the demo how it works okay so this is how our linux tutorials are going to be okay hope you have if you have any questions right type in the comment box i will try to answer your questions as early as possible okay thanks for watching my video if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe and like my videos thank you